What's up guys, Farrell's here with your preseason Team of the Week players in Madden 18. Let's have ourselves a look. So Team of the Week is back and it is different. Unlike any Team of the Week we have seen this season, each Team of the Week consists of 26 players filling out a Mutt lineup. That's so many players for Team of the Week. More like a FIFA where you can almost fill out a whole roster with just Team of the Weeks. So there are 12 regular Team of the Week player items released for each side of the ball along with an offensive and defensive master. I will review those masters in this video. Derek Carr and the Honey Badger. So to unlock those masters, you need to trade in all 12 regular Team of the Week items for this week on a given side of the ball in the new sets. Additionally, both offense and defense have Team of the Week upgrade sets that require all of the gold Team of the Week items for offense defense and will reward you with a random elite Team of the Week player. So I have these listed out below. I'm going to go through and just give you some of my favorites. Because there's so many, I'll give you a couple of my favorite picks. Guys, I think you can get good value from, add to your team, or do something particularly well, or maybe even fit into a salary cap lineup. So I'm going to start with offense first. Uh, Larry Warford is a guy that I like just because of his balance. I know he's going to be one of the more pricey guards, but 85 strength, 85 run block, and 85 pass block is super, super balanced. And if his price comes down to 35k range or you just pull him, I think he could be worth keeping because that balance is hard to find at this area of the game. Next up is Christian McCaffrey. At first, I didn't really love the Christian McCaffrey because, look, I don't think route running is all that important at halfback. At least the rating, if you run the out routes that everyone seems to be running from the halfback position, you get pretty sharp cuts regardless. So, yeah, you want people to catch the ball, but for the most part, backs will catch it. There's a couple guys that are... Uh, I've had trouble with like a Gurley or a Bo Jackson or uh, other big, big trucking backs like Marshawn Lynch. But for the most part, guys will catch the ball and hang on to it. Now, if you can't afford LaShawn McCoy or you didn't pick Barry Sanders, McCaffrey could be a good backup for your team. He's got 87 speed, which is right up there. And then his agility will give him a little bit extra. I'm concerned about the 76 elusive, but for the most part, he does a really good job as a third down back. And I think for 15K or if you can land this guy... If he comes down to 20, you'll see him in a lot of lineups. Uh, so I like McCaffrey. Now, Ingram is a guy I've been on in play now because I play with the Giants. 86 speed tight end is amazing for 17K. That's a great value. 23 cap if you want to play him in salary cap. 88 acceleration, really, really fast. Now, he's, you know, doesn't have, not all around tight end, but if you're just looking for a speed tight end and you played last year and you liked. Ladarius Green, like he'll do a lot of those same things. He's 6'3", which is decent size uh, for the position and just great speed. So drags, streaks, uh, getting him into position to uh, match up against linebackers. He doesn't have the best route running, but he does going to have a speed advantage against a lot of players that line him in that position. Defensively, Lattimore, 90 speed. So doesn't have the best man or zone, but he's okay. For 6,000 coins, you get a 90 speed Lattimore. You put him at your fourth or fifth corner, and then you go to coaching adjustments at the play call menu. You, you press B, and then you cycle by speed. Now you've got 91 speed Tyreek Hill or 91 speed John Ross. This guy goes in, matches up against him, and it can at least take away streaks uh, from that spot. So this is like a utility card for 6K that you keep on the bench and will do special things for your defense because of his speed. 87 jump, very athletic. Uh, I like what he brings to the table. Even has 65 hit power at corner, which isn't terrible. Hassan Reddick, I put him in here because he is a middle linebacker who's 6'1", which is pretty good size. Um, you know, you'd, you'd like to see 6'3 or 4, but 85 speed with 83 agility, that's potential user territory for 17K. See if you can get him for 13, maybe if he comes down a little bit. If he's down at 10K, I like uh, the possibility of an 85 speed middle linebacker across the middle of your defense. Uh, just, I think a lot of people are going to be eyeing another guy on here in Michael Kendricks, who we'll talk about, but I like the Reddick as a potential player. And then Hargreaves, I don't want to sleep on because he has 86 speed, but he has 90 agility with 81 man. So he's above 80 man, which is good. Can actually press a little bit. And then he has, he's not the fastest at 86, so I'm a little bit tentative, but the 90 agility I feel like will make a lot. I'd rather have him be 80. 6 speed and 90 agility than like 88 speed and 80 agility like some other guys that are out there. Uh, and I think one football outsiders guy that came out. So those, th that would be my recommendation for Hargreaves. Now next up is JPP. At first I was not that high on JPP, but I noticed a comment, I believe it was Tiny on Mudhead. He said that, compare these two guys, Bosa and Pierre Paul. I love Bosa. You guys know I love Bosa. He plays really well. 
he's almost 300k where JPP is 200. Uh, same height, same speed, JPP is a little bit stronger. Um, where the only real difference is going to be the pass rush moves, which I do think Bosa has a big difference. Because he is over 90 with finesse, I find that to be a big, big um, area. And then he's much more balanced at 88. But aside from those two things, in a little bit of block shit, I mean, you save yourself potentially 100k. He's got more play rec, a little bit better zone. Not that that's a huge factor, but if people are loving the Bosa, which I am, I've had him in mutt drafts, and he's played really, really well. I think the JPP could save you a little bit um, and potentially be an option. You have to check out the pass rush moves, but he has actually played pretty well. Um, in Madden's over the time. So don't sleep on the JPP. Michael Kendrick slides in 86 right outside linebacker, six feet tall, 86, uh, 84 hit power. 84 hit power is very good. 84 speed is rock solid. Now he's a right outside linebacker. I believe he used to be middle. Um, 82 rush move, which I don't know how much you're going to use that. But I would just say it's not the same Kendricks with 78 agility. It's not the guy we used to, used to have. And for 100K, I think you pass at this point. I don't don't fall in love with the old Michael Kendricks. Um, I he's not quite the user that he used to be, in my opinion. And then you get the Honey Badger as the team hero. <clears throat> so initially, I slept. Up, I said, you know, for 400k, this is a lot. Um, unless you really get a lot of pieces of the set, or you do, you know, you, you get maybe some of the more expensive pieces of the set, like the fullback or um, one of the elites. It's going to be tough to justify making the Honey Badger. 86 speed seems low. <clears throat> seems low to me at free safety. Um, that was kind of my initial concern. But he does have the 87 man coverage, which is really rare to find at that free safety position. Plus, he has 86 hit power and 88 zone. So he does do a lot of things well. I wanted to compare him real quick to Eric Weddle because a lot of people are dropping Eric Weddle down in the box. He's five speed faster than Weddle, and that's that's a lot of speed to make up. So that is the one thing that you get. But Weddle does do some other things better and has pretty decent man coverage uh, on his own. So Honey Badger more athletic. Uh, Weddle, kind of a better tackler and better zone guy. Um, but you do get the hip power, uh, same hip power on both. So those are some things I would consider looking into if Weddle drops down. You have to use these guys very specifically. I'm not saying for everybody, but I'm saying for specific roles. These are two guys that you can use very, very uniquely. Um, some other fast... So I just wouldn't... Like, if you just want speed, and that's why you're thinking about the Honey Badger, uh, there's Adrian Amos uh, from the Bears. His core elite, Byron Jones, Maurice Alexander, um, and then Eric Berry, if you could afford him. But Amos, Jones... And are uh, some pretty good speedsters that can mix it up uh, for much less 20k if that's just what you're looking for. You afford Earl Thomas, who's also got that 85 86 speed area. So, um, good, good on the Honey Badger by having that hit power and that man coverage. It really does ramp him up to the next tier, in my opinion. But 400k is a lot for any player in the game. And then, lastly, Derek Carr flies in 500k. Now, he's been one of the favorite quarterbacks early in this season. Obviously, most people like Aaron Rodgers if they can get him. But going up to 80 speed, I think, helps him a lot. He already feels really, really fast. I've used him in back-to-back -back mutt drafts, and at 78 speed, he felt really, really fast. So I'm excited that he has 86 XL. That's huge in this game. Now, I've heard this argument, and I don't disagree with it. If I hadn't used Derek Carr myself, not this one, but the other one, I would say, well, he didn't get to 90 in any of these cats. He didn't get to 90 throw power. He didn't get to 90, uh, you know, short. He didn't get to 90 throw on the run. But he's been accurate enough for me compared to Cam Newton, compared to Ben Roethlisberger, compared to Phil Rivers, compared to uh, Stafford. Like, he's been more accurate, and he's gone up in that. Um, and then you get that little more speed bonus uh, on it. Look. That's a lot of coins, but this is such a premier position if you can't afford, uh, if you want to go, above, like, compare him and Aaron Rodgers and just kind of see what you can do. Rodgers a little bit more of a throw guy, and then Carr with the ability to scramble, getting up there towards that 81 Russell Wilson speed-wise. So I love this car. If you want one of the best quarterbacks in the game, this would be the guy that i go with. Now, I don't know anything about power-ups. Um, and some of that stuff, so I would keep an eye out and see 
what you guys think of all that. Let me know in the comments if you would go for this car. Would you just kind of keep powering up your car? Can you power up a car? I have no idea. Is it electric? Do you plug it in? Is it a Chevy Volt? I don't understand. Let me know. But as far as ratings go, yeah, he didn't get to 90, but yes, I'll live with it. Because I have used a uh, regular car in my draft, I think he's very, very strong. If I missed anybody, let me know. Travis Benjamin could be decent 88 speed uh, as a cheap option if you really wanted uh, some speed guys. But I think those are the best. Some of the gold guys, <clears throat> I don't know if they crack the lineup unless you're still kind of really starting up your squad. So that's what I look to for preseason team of the week. Hopefully this video helps you get an idea of who to uh, work with, a couple sleepers. And until next time, and we're going to have great times doing these uh, team of the weeks because 26 dudes is so many dudes. There's going to be some real gems this year, and I'm looking forward to it, guys. Until next time, this is Z Farrells reminding you to lock up, stay hungry, peace out.